happy, I think it's Wednesday, yeah, let's go with Wednesday, I'm on my way to go get a zipper, so, going to Lens Mills, oh, oh there it is, good, I did bring it, I thought of it now, so we're going to go grab a zipper, come back, oh, I've got to pop into my favorite princess store too. Anyway, zipper, come on back. Sew the zipper into the tent fly. Get that done so my little girl can have a dry tent. On my dash, uh, there's these messages that pop up. And uh, I've got the little orange triangle again. The message this time is low beam or bulb failure. Low beam. I'm going to have to replace a light bulb. I've got an extra one in the back, so hopefully that's the right one. I imagine it is. Well, we'll find out, I guess, when we get home. My lens. Look what they're selling now. Good. I got my new zipper. This isn't it. No. This is it. All of $1.98 and a new little pull tab is 39 cents. Cost me <laughs> the thread to match the uh, the tent. It's much more expensive. Uh, I think it was $9 for the thread. I am just leaving the Nova Sewing Center from what I have picked up two bobbins for my sewing machine. I, uh, I don't know what Heidi's done with the bobbins. Ay, ay, ay. Mary Cato, thanks a lot. My wife now puts things away, squirrel things away, where I don't know where they are. Oh well. I've got two bobbins at least, so good for two projects. Well, three, I guess, if uh, I keep up with the bobbin that's in the machine now. Okay, back home now. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I'm going to change that light before I uh, do anything else. It's a pretty quick change. Assuming I can find the light. It's in the back of the car. Here's the bulb here. I uh, I think it's the right one. Came from with the car. That's how you remove the light. Pull these up. The light will pull out. Just like that. It's this one here. This bulb's done. Shoot. This is the right bulb, but it's uh, it's used. It's uh, it's burnt inside the bottom. You see that white stuff in there? I've got other bulbs. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's. I'll take a look. I might have one. I don't know if I do or not. Just checked my other bulbs. They're from uh, uh, one of my old sobs, I guess. They're H7. These are H11. So I'm going to have to hit the main tire to get a, a bulb. Oh well. Uh, let's check the time and look at getting sewing. This is my sewing machine. It's my PATH 332. I'm going to see, hopefully I got the right bobbins for this thing. Oh, yes. That looks perfect. Okay. Time to unthread this. Got to figure out how to wind the bobbin. Oh, I think this wasn't engaging it enough. Not engaging enough. Leave it in the comments. 
I'm not sure that these are Heidi's sewing scissors, but I can use them. Okay, now the easy part. This little thing, really tiny hole. Oh, I can't believe that. Look at that. that way too easy. Just uh, trying to adjust the tension. You can see all the bird's nest here. And it's getting tighter here. So. A little more. A little more. That is pretty good. Yeah, that's got it. Okay, now I want it to go straight. This has like 80 different settings on it. I don't know how they work. I should have shown my fight getting this on. That's a zipper. Okay, these go on one way. This is the outside. This is the inside. I've got my tent here. I'm going to start up at the top. And uh, Put on the one side first so I can make it nice and uh, do the other side next. There's a flap that folds over this, uh, so the second side will have the, uh, the flap. I'll unzip it for the second side, but I'll leave it zipped for, for the first side, I think. Well, it really doesn't matter. I can unzip it for this side, but it's easier to hang on to it when it's zipped. I think the trick here is to start at the bottom and go up. And here we go. So this is the second stitch on this side. This will go pretty quick. I'm just sewing this flat other seam, the other seam, I guess. I've got to sew this other side on the flat. So I'm going to have to do it upside down instead of from the front, like I did the last one. And I'm also going to have to unzip it. I thought I could do it zipped up, but that's not going to work. Just doing one last pass. I might do it, one on the other side, down this uh, side with the flap. I'm doing it from the other side now because I couldn't get in tight enough before. It's working fine now. Okay, I've got it sewn in. Let's uh, see if it works now. Seems to be working. I have success. So, it's fixed now. Right side around and zip it up. There we go. So, uh, we'll go with that. That should work. Keep the rain out and uh, keep the kids dry. So that wasn't a bad deal, uh, spending, what did I spend, $12, oh hang on, I bought some bobbins, so let's say $17 in total, and what did that take me, it took me longer than I should have, it 
took me about an hour to, uh, to sew that in. I've got to have more practice with the sewing machine. That'll uh, fix that. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things and I'll, uh, I'm not going to sew any more tents tomorrow. But I do have another little sewing project that I'd like to start. It involves this and some paracord I just got. Forgot earlier. I've got to get a sleeping bag out of the boat for Jasmine. The boat's still here. That's good. Motor's still on it. There's Spotty. Got my sleeping bag. I'm out of here. There's a few more boats in now. Uh, there's five down there, six, seven, eight all together. Well, that's good. See you later, Spotty.